Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I've been doing some work between episodes. We had a live stream uh, yesterday for you guys, about two hours ago for me. And we have some resources. Two stacks of iron blocks, 27 blocks of gold, and enough diamonds to make the remaining blocks that we need to make a full 9x9 nine nine beacon base, which is pretty sweet. I also happen to have three wither skeleton skulls and four soul sand, so guess what? We're going to start this episode off by fighting the wither. Yes, my friends, it is time. Iskull thinks that he can be the only one on the server with a beacon. No, no, no. I'll tell you what. I'm not a noob. I'm not a scrub. I will also have a full beacon by the end of the system, by the end, realistically in like five minutes. Okay, we're going to have it soon. Um, so I'm going to just kind of come over here. We'll do, I'm not going to go into the nether and fight, uh, ooh, that's a terrible place to fight the wither. I'm not going to go into the nether and try and find a bedrock spot and fight the wither like a coward. That's not how I roll. Uh, no, we'll just fight it down here uh, by digging out a little underground area and fight it like a coward underground. Um, that's the plan. Yes. So that's what we will be doing. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's just kind of clear a little spot. I shouldn't need too much space for this. This like this should probably be enough right here. Uh, I've got a smite four sword. I've got a power five bow. I do have plenty of armor. I even have a golden apple in case everything goes horrendously wrong. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's put down our soul sand. Uh, before I put those on, I should probably grab my Smite 4 sword uh, and some arrows. Let's put these items into our ender chest because I don't want to accidentally um, use them and get hurt. Um, yeah, should be good. I've got plenty of arrows there. I think that's all I need. Pretty sure. Okay, so... Here we go, Wither Skeleton 1, Wither Skeleton Skull number 2, and Skull number 3. And we have a Wither. Run away, run away, run away. Turn the corner, turn the corner. Okay. You can explode any time, Wither. There it is. Oh, he's shooting at me. We'll be okay. Oh, he's almost half dead already. There we go. We'll get him. Oh. Oh, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Hold still. Die. Okay. Eat food. Eat food. Eat food. Eat food. Eat golden apple. Eat golden apple. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're safe. Pretty sure. We got our nether star. Success! Awesome. Okay. So, Wither has been slain. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have enough obsidian to make the beacon. I might actually not have enough sand. There's only one way to find out. But we've got the Wither taken care of. And uh, we should be good to go. So, let me go back up. Let me make sure I got all the resources and materials I need to make the beacon itself. And then I'll be back. And there we go. Beacon, baby. Mmm. Gotta love it. That is a beautiful thing. Now, let's grab our blocks. And I legitimately think <laughs> that I'm going to need diamond uh, to make, temporarily at least, some blocks out of diamonds, uh, because what I want to do in today's episode is going to require a full beacon base, because I'm, well, I shouldn't necessarily, th uh, I shouldn't necessarily, th necess words, please, please, can I just words for just a couple of minutes, that's all I need. Um, what I want to do in today's episode is going to require more iron, quite a bit of it actually, because I need to make some railroad tracks and things like that. So. Keeping that in mind, I think what I want to do is go ahead and set up this beacon 
as quickly as possible so that I can get some major mining done down below. That is my plan. So let's pop down here like so. Beautiful. And let's go and set our beacon up. Well, let's do this, okay? Right here, this is 316, this intersection right here. Now, a beacon at max strength or whatever, when it's the full, uh, a fully created beacon has a range of 50 blocks in every direction. So I'm going to have to go to negative 366 and that will be where I want to put the center of the beacon. All right, guys, here we go. We are setting up the first beacon of Hermitcraft Season 5, or at least our first beacon of Hermitcraft Season 5. What I usually like to do is I like to get uh, a full beacon to use at the beginning, uh, like to use as my quote-unquote mining beacon, and then after that, I like to get a separate beacon to use for other things. Now, the beacon can be made of just about anything. I feel like I'm not going to have... Did I grossly underestimate the amount of blocks that I was going to need? Or did I make this thing way bigger than it was supposed to? I feel like I derped something up here. No wonder I went through my blocks so fast. That, how did I mess it up that bad? I don't even know. Whatever. It's okay. We have it fixed now, I believe. Let's just double check this here. So, uh, you can go here. So now we have, from our center point, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, good. Wow, I messed that up. I, I don't even know how I managed to screw it up that badly, but you know what? Mistakes were made. It's okay. They have now been fixed. So this will go right there. And then last but not least, we put our diamond blocks for our beacon on top right here. And this is now a full-blown beacon Except I gotta dig all the way up to the surface because, uh, yeah, uh, we, we have, um, uh, it, it needs to be able to see the sky. That's kind of important. So, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna dig all the way up to the surface, and then I'll be back. And there we go! Beaconator, baby! Mmm, we got the achievement. It's all good. Everything is good. We have our full beacon base, which is pretty fantastic. Now, um, I did realize one small little problem, uh, and that is, of course, that uh, I don't actually have anything to light the beacon with <laughs> down here, so we should probably do something about that. Let's just make a furnace, we'll put him right here, throw this iron in with that dark oak, and that should give us an iron ingot with which to light the beacon. Oh, I didn't even see that coal over there. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, iron ingot, thank you. Haste, haste, bam. And now we should have haste two, efficiency five. And that means Instamine, one of my favorite things. I, I truly love Instamine. Like it's such, it's just one of those things. Like there's something so satisfying about being able to just instantly mine blocks like this. I mean, come on, how, it's so soothing and, and relaxing and nice and just like, mmm, love it. I absolutely love it. But I'm going to do a bit of uh, a mining session, get this area kind of cleared out a little bit, give my, myself some, uh, some breathing room, so to speak, now that we have this beacon all set up. And then I'm going to try and get myself a fair amount of iron so we can move on to today's main project. All right, guys, I am back. So I think I've got everything I need ready for this project. Um, let's see. We're going to need a bunch of iron. I'm going to need a total of 24 hoppers. There we go. 
So we got our hoppers. Uh, we're going to need eight furnaces all together. So let's go three more of those guys. There we go. And then we're going to need some chests, some rails, uh, and some other stuff as well. Let's just go... I think I only need, like, a very small handful of these guys. Uh, so that should be fine. Am I framey right now? No, I guess not. It, I, it just seems a little framey. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's just my imagination. Uh, anyway. Oh, and we also need a couple powered rails and we'll see if I can remember the recipe for these I thought it was gold iron redstone maybe that's a stick and not iron uh let's find out you come to me sticks please thank you uh we're going to need quite a few of these guys yep that's definitely the one okay um, let's make one more batch, just to be sure that I've got enough. There we go. That should be plenty. Now, eventually, I may expand this to include uh, an additional side, but we're only going to do one side for the time being. Now, if you haven't already figured it out, what we're going to be building here is essentially a super smelter. Uh, that is... A smelter where I can put all of my items into one chest. It'll smelt all of them at once and spit them all out into a different chest. That's essentially what this thing is going to be. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got enough space. And if I put a double chest. Ooh, uh, uh, hey, pl please. Uh, oh. It's because. Come on. There we go. All right. If I put a double chest right here, that should be good. And then what we'll do is feed the two hoppers in and feed hoppers in like so. So we'll have a whole row of hoppers right here. Then what we need to do is put chests on top of that like so. We need to put hoppers on top of these uh actually you know what we should probably do that after i open up a little bit of space in the ceiling otherwise this could end very badly uh shovel hopefully we have enough space up here we should but it would be really unfortunate to get like most of the way through this project and then find out we don't actually have enough space yeah, we'll be good. We have plenty of space up there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I was a little concerned that uh, we were going to break through the surface, which is not what I want to do right now. Okay, so now we can put... Let's just take those torches out of our hand for the moment. There we go. We do something like that. And then back here, we're going to put a row of hoppers as well. Okay, now here and here. Here, we're going to put a hopper. Okay. And then how much space? Yeah, we're good. We're good there. Okay. So then what we need to do, uh, I need some like scaffolding or something. Let's just go like that. And we're going to put powered rails running, oops, running across these like so. Okay, and then here and here. Oh, really? Really? I'm kind of surprised that those connect. They shouldn't. If we go here and... Ah, oh, they do try and connect. Huh. Okay. I suppose I can just take this one one further? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, I'm... Uh, hmm. Let, let's not fall. 
I guess I'll just have to use uh, regular. I I'll just have to use power rails here and here. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, so what's going to happen is we're going to have two mine carts. One will go on the top track. One will go on the bottom track. They'll go all the way across this and then turn around and go back the other way. So pretty straightforward and easy. Okay, let's open up a little bit of space over here. Hopefully, where's my doorway? Right here. Yeah, that should be good. That should be enough. Let me break this out. And then we'll do a bit of this and a bit of that as well. Okay, now, right here, just for the time being, I want to kind of frame something out so I can kind of get an idea of how this is going to look. So up there. Yeah, and then we'll have a little cross beam right here. Right here, we'll have a minecart track. And on top of here, we'll have a minecart track. And then this one will go to the top. This one will go to the bottom. So then we just need a regular rail to go like this. Because what, we, what we're what we ultimately going to have is a lever, right? That's going to power this rail and this rail. And we want to make sure that when that happens... The minecart will, like, if we flip the lever, we want the minecart to stop on these two rails right here. Uh, some of you may recognize this, actually, as the rail system that I built in my single-player uh, Kingdoms series. This may be a familiar build for you. Uh, so you go, let's see here. We need you to come up right here, I believe. Yep. Oh, that's not going to work. Do I have to wrap these back? I have a feeling... No, I shouldn't need to. Hmm. Let me get the rail placement all figured out. I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I am back. I think I go. I, I think I have it all figured out. So we're gonna put one minecart here and one minecart up here. When we flip these leather, uh, these two levers, both of these tracks will turn on, and they will propel the minecarts up and along the track. They'll come over here, turn around, come back, and they'll basically just run back and forth until everything is good to go. All the hoppers should be in place. So in theory. In theory, this should now be fully functional. We're about to find out if that's actually the case or if I am, uh, if I followed something up somewhere. So what do we have that needs smelting? Let's maybe just grab some fish. Let's just grab, uh, we'll grab one stack of fish, okay? And then we'll grab maybe one stack of coal, okay? And then I also need two minecarts with the chest. All right. Awesome. So we'll put one right here and one right there. Okay. And then in this guy, we'll put the fish. In this guy, we'll put the coal. And if I hit this, we should see all of these light up. But not that one. Ah, I did follow something up. Probably have the hopper locked. All right, so let's turn it off. This is why we test things. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. I've got somewhere a lever. Probably, I'm trying to figure out where it was. Uh, let's just do that. And I guess instead I can put a lever here and there. And that should power the rails without locking any of the hoppers. So, let's see. Is the fish... Yep, there's still a little bit of fish left in there. 
We should see this furnace come on as well. Still no? Oh, because there's a rail in there. Aha! That, that, that would do it. That would totally do it. Okay, so the system is working. Uh, it is working. Now, it looks hideous. So we have a little bit of uh, aesthetic design type work to do here because it looks really bad right now. But we can, we can fix that. And you can see it's all flowing into this chest as it should. So design. Let's talk about designs here. I'm thinking we're going to go with some stone brick like so and we'll start let's make some stone brick stairs like that there we go and up here i'm gonna put down stairs in front of those hoppers and then here i'm gonna put stairs as well okay we'll do some regular stone brick here and some regular stone brick there now uh, same goes for this. This is uh, this is gonna mess up a little bit of the stuff just because I had levers and I, I had a lever like right here uh, that was powering these rails, but that's okay. Uh, it, right now, I want to get it looking good before I worry too much about other stuff. Let's grab those mine carts right there. We'll put this guy here with the lever and the powered rail. What happened to my minecart chest? Uh, minecart mine chest? Where'd you go? Uh, what? It just vanished. It just straight up vanished on me. Okay. Don't know why that happened. Um... That's so weird. I guess I'll make another one. Um, wasn't really expecting to have to do that, but you know, I suppose there are worse things. Uh, so let's go right. Oh, and that needs to be stone brick there as well. And then we'll go there. Okay, so that's all good. Now we need to kind of decorate the rest of the room as well. This is only one side of the room. Uh, so let me see what I can come up with for the other side, and then I'll be back with you. All right, guys, there we go. I think I've got it all figured out. Uh, is it perfect? No. Is it functional? Yes. <laughs> it works. Um, and I've also incorporated essentially a little bedroom entrance right here where you can kind of come in, and that that's where I'll keep my bed uh, for the time being. So let's put a couple of torches up there. How much light? Yeah, I probably still need a torch right here. Uh, and this should work like stuff in the, the stuff that we need to have smelted in the top chest, coal in the bottom chest. And we should have ourselves a pretty functional super smelter. Now, if you want a more detailed tutorial on this video, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the video I did uh, on this super smelter when I did it as a 15 minute build. Um, that one is exactly the same except for it's twice the size. Uh, so instead of eight furnaces, it's got 16, eight on this side and eight on this side. And realistically, you could make it as small or as large as you want it to be. But I think this works for the time being. Let's also just grab ourselves a spruce door here and here. And that way, I mean, this is kind of turning into a little bit more of an underground lair than a temporary storage facility. But I did want to have a way to smelt up all of our stuff quickly uh, without having to worry too much. And this thing should get the job done. But unfortunately, my friends, I am out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. 
There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Also, remember that I did recently get some new audio equipment, and I'm con I've been adjusting and tweaking settings and things like that, so any feedback you have on my audio right now would be greatly appreciated, especially compared to what it was like last episode. Uh, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.